Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here for Pop Turnative, speaking to Angelica Leonardo, Maggie premiering on Hulu July 6th. Thank you both for your time. Thank Thanks, you. Man. You know, Angelique, I'll start with you. I find it very interesting because, you know, watching comedy series and sitcoms, there's always roller coasters, ups and downs in each episode because certain things happen and everything. So it becomes complex. This becomes, I feel like, complex in many different ways because Maggie, the lead character, is a psychic and can kind of see what's happening. What's your mindset with this like show specifically, knowing that kind of unique concept with Maggie? I think that's what sets it apart. It's so special. I think that it's something that's unexpected. We haven't really seen it in comedy. So it's a really fun show. I think it keeps the audience on their toes. And I think that um, it's also, there's like a sweetness to this show that we haven't seen in a while. And I really am proud of that. And it makes you kind of feel things that maybe you haven't felt in a while. There's like a sweetness, like a, just a real, real hopefulness to this show. The but Leonardo, you know, was the psychic component of it the thing that kind of stood up because it has a lot of heart, the kind of love triangles and the slice of life component. Was it kind of a little bit of everything when you were like reading the scripts for this or was it still kind of the psychic component was the big one that kind of stood out? Well, for me, definitely the fact that there was a psychic component made me excited about where the where the show could go. Once I started to understand that the show is going to jump in time whether it's in reality or flashes or not you know i'm not going to spoil stuff but Mm -hmm. um that to me sounded really exciting and really funny i thought oh there's so many great moments they're going to be able to craft through that uh and then ultimately from the beginning meeting with uh the creators of the show uh justin adler maggie mull uh natalia as well um knowing that they really wanted uh from my character uh, a grounded um soulful experience uh then also have you know very funny moments too it was a really uh all in one uh no brainer for me to join the show and actually i'm gonna ask you this too because this is not your first comedy series and everything so i'm just curious i feel like there some are more like have more serious undertones than others right but be, like the life and the breakups and everything there's always going to be these like serious undertones in comedy series and i'm just curious for you do you feel like that just is that premeditated or do you think it's like like just happens like is it planned or do you think it just I, happens i mean i think that that speaks to the creative forces behind the show i definitely think that that's premeditated and i yes. think what i like about this show is that the comedy isn't so hard the comedy is not yeah. like a hard comedy really like it's much more like a rom-com in that it's like a little softer it's a little sweeter there's not like these hard twists and turns like like more like on my first show enlisted was like so hard funny right yes so the jokes were so black and white this is a little more nuanced Mm -hmm. and i think that that speaks to the the topic at hand which is these glimpses of her future and it's quite harrowing at times for her and i think that's absolutely premeditated i also think that that speaks to the hulu audience i think hulu kind of is a, can be quite, um, I don't know, advanced or, you know, these, uh, it's also like millennials are used to yep. certain things. I think this will make them think, I think this was all kind of premeditated. I think it's great. And Leonardo, you look at, you know, a lot of the projects like, like Matt, like you've worked on a lot of different projects, like genre wise, but you look at Maggie, you look at one of my favorite movies of all time that you were in is the perfect score. You look at movies like that. Um, Thanks, it's one of those things where, you know, the slice of life, real, like realness component. Is that one of your favorite things about comedy as well? Like that kind of component of it? Cause we see that in Maggie as well. Yeah. You know, the real life component is something that um, is uh, so um, wonderful to play because mm-hmm. hopefully that reflects to the audience, you know, and yep. gives them an opportunity to see life in a new way that they may not have been able to. Uh, yep. That's one of the gifts I think that of the the industry and the work that we do. Um, but yeah, like if if a project has that real slice of life um, component to it, then you know if if you can add comedy to that i mean that's heaven Mm -hmm. absolutely we have that with maggie i feel like the thing the psychic thing is there but i love slice of life huge fan of that right perfect show july 6th it's going to be on hulu maggie thank you both for your time it was so great to have you life speaking with you (laughs) all the best thanks 
Thank you for tuning in to Poptternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Poptternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.